So the question is if Monsara's Roses Vanille is the same as Mantal's Intense Café and uh, if you're wondering where are the similarities, where are the differences, I invited Benny who is gonna be uh, the judge in this perfume battle and keep on watching to find out uh, everything about these two bestsellers. <music> Everyone. Hello! And welcome back to another perfume battle. I really like to do this. I hope you do too because I it's do. awesome to have you here. Two noses are better than one. And so today we'll talk about one of the most popular Mancera's perfumes and one of the most popular Montal's perfumes. Mm -hmm. And if you guys don't know, these are French niche brands that are owned by the same person, Pierre Montal. So technically, these are kind of same brands, but not really. Well, it's complicated, but yep. I hope you got me. So the owner is the same. The nose behind uh, both uh, brands is the same, but uh, technically these are separate brands. Well, you know, many of their fragrances are pretty similar, which is kind of obvious, and both brands offer a wide range of different products, and they are pretty well known all around the world. We smell them at Xong several times. I'm not sure if you have favorites from Montal or Mancera, if so, can I you share it. them? No? No, I don't think so. I, I might remember that one perfume was called Cookie Monster or something like that, but I'm not sure if it was Mancera or Montal, then even the, the uh, boot. Mm -hmm. On the on Exons is like the same as one place that you're going inside and you got on the one side Mancera on the second side Montal and you can yeah I, I can mix things up you know so yeah, I, I'm no sorry worries. I don't know and I'm not even sure if it's the real name of the perfume but Maybe somehow I, I'm uh, vanilla uh, cookie or something there, there, they have something, something like with that cookie, something with cookie <laughs> well anyway yeah there are two perfumes that are very similar and that's not only my opinion you can check Fragrantica, you can check um, YouTube and many people compare Roses Vanille and I have a sample of it and please don't mind its look it's kind of destroyed but that's only because I keep it in my car because this is such an awesome perfume and I will tell you why and if I forget to put on some fragrance before I go out, which almost never happens, but if or I need to reapply and I don't have anything uh, in my purse, I reach out for this because it literally works for every occasion. And there is perfume that is called Intense Café and I'm sure that many of you are familiar with it and if so, let us know what you think of it or this one and by the way, if you have any favorites from these brands, we would like to know everything about them. But yeah, uh, do you want to spray them on you and get started talking about them yeah. and finding okay. the similarities and maybe even differences? Uh, so both of you and both on me. Brave man. Okay, which one? Intense coffee. Okay, here you go. I don't want to spray a lot because, you know, it's yes, I pretty see, strong. I see, you're greedy. You're greedy. I'm pretty greedy <laughs> because, you know, I don't have much. It, a little bit goes a long way. Maybe first impressions. First impressions? Uh, sorry, alcoholic and coffee are the first oh. two ingredients that are coming through very strong. Sweet heaven for me. Okay, let's no. check the yep. opening okay, the, of this the one. The sweetness is coming through. Mm -hmm. It's it's actually very sweet. Yeah. Okay, uh, this is. Uh, if you wanna get high, vanilla, right? Yes. Okay. If you wanna get high, get it. May I smell them? Yeah, sure. Okay, so this is roses vanilla. This is intense coffee, and right. to me, at this point, they are hundred percent. Same, like literally no. sugar, rose, no coffee, literally sugar with the scent of uh, rose. This is what I get from both and they are damn good. Okay, so my opinion, at uh, Intense Coffee there is coffee that you can smell from the beginning on and just a couple seconds after that the sweetness is coming through very intense i'm not sure if there are roses inside or not but it's very sweet yeah. it's really like sugar water mm -hmm. and 
at uh, uh, Roses Vanille, mm -hmm. there is, in my opinion, not even a little smell of coffee. No. But it's also very sweet. Uh, maybe even the same sweetness that's inside here. So uh, they're not taking much from each other, but I still think that you can smell the coffee inside here. Cool. And uh, by the way, in Roses Vanilla we have the note of sugar, the note of water mm. and roses, obviously. I don't really smell vanilla in there. I smell more mm. of sugar, because vanilla mm -hmm. has its own scent that I'm sure the majority of us is familiar with. And you're not getting that vanilla or vanillin in these perfumes. It's pretty much sugar. like. Yeah. Maybe yep. sugar doesn't even smell, like when you smell mm. on the crystal, oh. they don't necessarily smell. But if you are expecting the scent of rose and the scent of vanilla, like baking vanilla or just like vanilla perfumes that, you know, are out there, it's not quite like that. You no, can, to not. me, it's like a rose bud, like literally beautiful pink rose with lots of sugar on top, like a sugar coating, like a sugar icing, if you will. This is kind of okay. like what I get. By the way, I don't really uh, get the coffee in really? intense Try it coffee. again, please. No. Try. I wore it like several times, but you know what no, I have here? I still think there's coffee inside. A ristretto intense coffee, in which I can actually smell a little bit of roasted coffee beans. And this is kind of like a flanker of that intense coffee. Mm -hmm. And finally, they put some coffee into it. So, do you, can I spray it on myself and then we'll smell all you three perfumes? You can also smell it over here. Yeah, but I also want to smell good, you know? <laughs> you know what I mean? So, here you go. This is the Ristretto Intense Coffee with coffee. Oh, by the way, don't get your nose into it because it's yep. there forever. And that's right, there's the coffee scent a lot more mm -hmm. uh, recognizable mm -hmm. than it's in over here. Mm -hmm and like none over here so well, there, there, okay. should, not so, be there should not be coffee yeah right so okay it, it's okay yeah it's no coffee a little bit of coffee a lot of coffee you know <laughs> cool but what is the similarity to you the similarity mm -hmm. between and these two basically between these two yeah they are both very sweet and the difference is coffee obviously coffee. there's coffee there's obviously no okay. coffee but i uh, don't get the vanilla vibes at Right. Like, like so, you explained so, it earlier. So, so. Yeah, the sweetness is rosy in both, right? It's just sweet, it's not rosy, it's sweet. Okay, I, I, to me it's I can't recognize the roses okay. inside, it's just sweet for me. Maybe you can say, okay, there's some touch of floral inside, mm -hmm. but it's still sweet. All right. Yeah. And uh, do you think these are unisex? Do you think yeah, these are think feminine? Are... Maybe you'll recommend one to men, one to women. Where okay. do you think people um, can wear it to? Which one do you recommend to buy? Do you recommend to Ooh. buy? Oh my god, I know that has so many <laughs> to, to questions. To buy is so Both. hard to explain because, uh, you know, I, I smell them right now the first or maybe second time and it's like I, I can't say which one I would buy. Um, to the uh, gender question, it's like, <laughs> I think it's unisex. Mm -hmm. All of them, and um, all of them are bearable by men and by women. I wouldn't prefer them at very hot days mm -hmm. because they are m maybe getting overwhelming in the heat, and they will project even more on your heat skin. So um, maybe more for for the colder times, or maybe mm -hmm. at the evening when mm -hmm. it's getting a little bit colder than it's usually on the day. So um, yeah, unisex. Variable night or winter mm -hmm. and um, may throw something in. Yeah, for sure. I think that Mancera's Roses Vanilla is a, just a little bit more elegant. So if you are craving something sugary for work, it might work. But I think that Intense Cafe is an awesome party time fragrance just because it is a little bit more louder mm -hmm. than Mancera's one, as so many of Mantel's fragrances are. They are basically full on beasts. And Mancera fragrances are also very long lasting and are also great performers. But once again, Mancera is just a bit more elegant, and Mantel is like, I'm there and I want to leave. So. 
That's just okay. my impression. And I think that Ristretto Intense Cafe and just the Intense Cafe are great for the winter time. And once again, going out at night, as mm -hmm. you said. And uh, I like my Roses Vanilla in the summer, but once again, I love intense gourmands, and that is a gourmand when it's hot. Yeah. So that's just my personal impression. Oh, and by the way, we sprayed just a little bit earlier today, and my mom walked into the room and asked immediately what smells so gorgeous of roses. So these perfumes. It was rose vanilla. Yeah, so rose these vanilla. perfumes are definitely compliment getters. Final question Do you think that if someone owns one of these, it's worth to get another one? Um, if you Be own, honest. Yeah. Um, roses Vanilla yes. or uh, Intense co Coffee. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to buy the other one. But I think Intense Coffee Restretto mm -hmm. is a very coffee smelling perfume. It, I like this one the most. Uh, <laughs> so just but, get but, this but, one. But, but, but I think just because I like coffee. Yeah. For my life, I'm drinking each day coffee. It's it's not like very ten good. cups. No, maybe not ten cups, but a lot, and it's it's and not very none. good. Maybe, but I still love it. And so, why shouldn't I do things that I really appreciate? You know. Cool. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Hi, I welcome. love to film perfume battles with you. And if you like to watch them, let us know. Also, tell us what you think about these two perfumes. If you compare them, maybe you own both and you don't care that they are ninety nine percent similar. Let know which other battles you want to see from us maybe also between Vansara and Vantal we can't wait to hear from you and thank you so much for watching this video and if you had fun watching it then give us a thumbs up subscribe to the channel make sure that the notification bell is clicked and if you have any other suggestions or uh, informations or thoughts about this video let us know down below in the commentary section and we will see each other in the next video bye guys bye.